I'm Katie Allman reporting for Queen's Television. So apparently there's an AMS election coming up. There's three teams running, and that's about all I know. Anyways, let's go see what Queen's students have to say, what they know, if they're informed, and if they have any beef with the AMS. Hi, I'm here with Jeff. Jeff, do you think that it's important to vote? Uh, I think it's imperative that everyone votes or at least educates themselves as they want to spoil a ballot or not vote, just so that they have a full comprehension of what's going on on campus and why or why not they sort of exercise that freedom. I take the election voting very seriously because usually I get a free coffee along with it, so they really have my interests at heart. Yeah. And anything that gets me more coffee really works out. You know that there's an AMS election coming up. What do you know about the election? Do you have any thoughts? I don't know much about it because I haven't looked into the teams and I haven't looked into um, kind of like what what they're going for and what their platform is. So I'd like to though and I'd like to learn more about each team and hopefully like go to their websites and check it out. But okay. as of right now, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, same here. Kind of just don't know anything. None of them come to my classes. Um, I'm not particularly interested just because I'm have other things on my plate yeah. with graduating and stuff? Uh, yes, I did. Just yeah. found out this morning in class okay. when the team wrote uh, vote for whatever initials on the board. So that's it. Okay, fair enough. Similar thing. I didn't really know about it until recently through the emails. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Um, do you think that it's your own fault for knowing nothing, or do you think that there should be more awareness on campus? Uh, I think it's a give or take relationship. I think they do you know, somewhat something to bring it out uh, to the awareness of the student population, but I think I just not really into that whole AMS thing. I, I kind of think there's a little dispute. I'm an engineering, by the way, so okay. I kind of think that maybe there may be a gap, and it's almost good for me to grab a punch in when I can and not vote at all. Everyone vote yes to renew the opt outable fee for concrete toboggan, and I haven't actually read too much about the uh, different groups campaigning okay. yet, but uh, I plan on doing that before I vote. Do you guys think that the AMS actually makes any sort of difference in the lives of Queen students, or do you think like it's usually the same old stuff, nothing really changes? Like, what, What's your opinion on that? I, <laughs> I think small changes are made, and at least a governing body is needed to at least keep things where they are. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not going backwards. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. What do you, what do you uh, I don't know. I work for the MS here at the QP, actually. Okay. Uh, I think they should pay us more. Okay. <laughs> just because just I want more money for no apparent reason. Yeah, because everyone wants to get paid more, don't they? Uh, yeah. I'd like to be paid for this job. It has changed dramatically with each executive over the years. I think in my time um, there was a bit of a trough um, over the last few years with sort of activity and really sort of uh, stepping forward with new ideas and I think that it's important that we demand that of the people who want to run for office uh, and that we as also just as students really look and uh, promote our own interests as they apply to us because ultimately that's what AMS is supposed to be about. Only 30% of Queen's students actually vote apparently. Do you think that there's any way that the Queen's community or the AMS could get more people out there voting? Get them all addicted to coffee and then offer them more free coffees okay. so they don't really have a choice. Okay. Or make them vote to get their coffee. Yeah, um, I think if they directly related day to day what, how they could be in a student's life and each faculty, if they could get into something like that, uh, that would be a lot more helpful and that'd make yeah. a lot more, that'd make me relate to it and want to go out and vote, you know, and maybe see that kind of side of things. Because basically the finances, the way they spend the school's money, like, on uh, stuff that I could care less about. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, if they, if they related to, hey, uh, so we're going to get like eight more beers on tap at Queen's Pub and Clark, sweet. Yeah. I'm in. Um, I don't know if like rallies and things like that would necessarily get students out, because yeah. some people are kind of apathetic towards that sort of thing. Do you have any beef with the AMS? Um, um, not really. They take my money and I don't know what they do with it. I'm just, it's not a beef so much as a question. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you say that it's your own fault that you don't know where the money goes or that there's not enough awareness? Well, nobody's coming up to me and telling me where my money goes, so it's not yeah. really my fault. Like, I, 
If I have to go out there and ask them, they're p deliberately hiding it from me because they're not putting it out in the open in a big okay. list that I can see in front of my face. And if I can't see it, I forget about it. So putting it in like books or internet databases or Excel spreadsheets really is yeah. kind of hiding information from me. Yeah. And I'm concerned. It's a big issue. Yeah, because you're a queen student. You have stuff to do. You're not going to go digging for information. No, if they had a big list at the QP, on the wall, by the bar, we'd know it. Okay. That would be yeah. accountability right there. But otherwise, it's some kind of sketchy operation going on. All right. Yeah, pretty under the table. Pretty shady. Anyways, thank you very much. Welcome. In conclusion, it looks like the AMS candidates have a lot of work cut out for them to increase awareness. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Queen's Television.